Hello. Today I am doing a, a natal update on Joe Biden, and I am doing this um, because Joe Biden's getting ready to um, transition into the office of president. And, um, well, to be honest with you, he has not been allowed to transition. Um, I come from, I am not a federal employee, but uh, I come from a family that is federal employees, so, um, and my husband is a federal employee. And normally at this time, uh, as a part of his job, he would be involved in transitioning um, from one administration to the next. And, um, and each administration um, has their own objectives and their own directions. Um, and, um, and during this past four years, from a perspective of someone who is impacted directly as a federal employee and family, um, we have been going through what is called the deep state, um, that federal employees uh, are somehow um, a part of some political underhandedness. Now, I can tell you that um, it has been my understanding as the wife of a, poli uh, of a person who's in, this, um, in the federal employee range and has, has his hands, you know, he has, to, he has to be involved with people who are making policy decisions or politics. And um, basically, um, I can tell you that it is a rule by, by federal employees, the Hatch Act, we are not allowed by, uh, by law to discuss who we vote for or who we are registered, how we're registered to vote. There are just some rules for us that are a little different than the average citizen. And that is for good reason because each administration that comes in has its own objectives. And each um, federal employee team or teams or employees in general, they work for the administration that's hired at or has been elected in. And, uh, and currently, at this time, due to this deep state and um, the, some of the um, desire to make um, having uh, federal staff be more political staff and have them rotate through according to a policy of a president, um, that, that is being now challenged um, by um, uh, let's see, the National Treasury Employees Union. They, they said that the order, the executive order that was signed by Donald Trump is uh, unlawful. And I believe that's true. Um, and, you know, and I can say that my husband, who has been a federal employee, who still currently is a federal employee and will be working on a transition team when that becomes available to Biden, um, that, that he cooperates each and every time regardless of the, of the presidency and that we respect the rules and the boundaries therein. So um, my question is simple. Um, we're, we're just going to simply look at Biden, okay? And I've done his chart and it's got, I've done some extra rings on it um, and that is for my, just so that I have extra room to work and, and I have a little picture of his outer really well done and, and all of that. And so what I'm wanting to do is I'm just kind of wanting to look at how is Biden going to do with this transition. We are kind of going from, and for those of us who are in the know on this because we're, we're impacted, um, you know, we have been, you know, it, it has been an uncomfortable four years. Now, saying that, um, we've had other times in, in, in our work history where it's been uncomfortable. That's not an, that's not an unusual um, situation. And quite frankly, we're grateful to have the job and all the things that go with it. So not complaining, but when you work for somebody that actively thinks you're trying to harm them, that kind of becomes something a little different. And I realize that most people are not looking at this current presidency from that perspective as we are. So um, I will just say that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and spread the cards. I'm going to put the laptop down, spread the cards out, and we will do the telescope of Joe Biden's natal chart as it relates to the transition process.
Okay, I've set the laptop up and now I'm going to spread my cards around. Get my, my pretties out of the way. And spread these around. We'll take 12 cards. And I love this deck. This is the um, uh, Shadowscape deck. And oh my goodness, this is just such a lovely deck. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll cut the deck. Oops, not a mess. Cut this deck three times. One. And our foundation is death. Uh, this is in regards to the transition team. And um, basically what's coming is that uh, Trump is going to have to go. Um, uh, Biden is going to take over. Now, B Biden, as a star type, is receptive. I know I've said this before, but I'll go over the details. He is the president-elect uh, for the 46th presidential session. His rising is Scorpio. He's water dominant. So how he feels, um, he, 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 he is one that responds to what he's feeling, okay? So um, how he feels. So that's kind of important to know. Okay, so it starts out that in Aries, he has uh, Venus in Scorpio. And that's in Mars because uh, to uh, that is the, the natural ruler, okay. Um, and it's personal. He seeks. Um, his soul is political. I mean, the guy was born to be a politician. He gets the four of cups. Yes, the relationship that we that we are going to have with him in transition is that he is going to be all business. Um, the Scorpios have a way of you know it's about death and birth, you know, they have a way of getting to the bottom of things rather quickly, and in this case, Biden is going to be rather orderly and structured in getting on with the business of government, and now that is, to see this card right off the bat is rather reassuring, and what my husband has said, and I think it's worth mentioning, because he is a federal employee, and he does have some feel for what this is, um, he has said due to Biden being a previous vice president that he has some idea already of the kinds of things that would be done in a transition process. So my husband's kind of hopeful that this energy, this transition energy, is not going to be as difficult as we may feel it, it could be, okay? And then in the, um, in the uh, second house, um, it's candid, it's harsh, it's, it's it's fairness, it's objections, it's Sagittarius, um, ruled by Venus, okay? Um, that's where we are object, our objects, our Taurian, okay, energy. It's a five of cups, you know, it, it is divisionary right now. And is some of why we are so slow to actually understand who our president is. We know it's Biden, but but it does seem as if, you know, the stop the steal and all this other, you know, fancy talk that, that you know, it does feel like there's something else going on, uh, yet there really isn't, okay? I think that there is no stop the steal. I think that what it is is that we're in division right now, and due to this division, um, Biden is kind of staying in the background, okay? And, and good for him. I'm glad that he has the sense to know that it's important to not come rushing in like a fool, okay? Because it probably wouldn't be helpful at this time, okay? And um, and then we have, and that's it. Let's see, we have um, information. Uh, the the third house of, of Gemini. Um, uh, he's all he's all business, okay? He he wants to come in. He wants to make it so uh, in the house of information. 
and it's it's what his, he's destined to do in Aquarius and he gets the Queen of Swords that yes he's coming into this intellectual process where there has been all kinds of division and basically things have been done to uh, uh, um, keep this relationship from um, or keep us to keep us in our heads to keep he's in his head everybody's in their head this uh, you know the the way this is going this you know we're, we're spending a lot of time thinking we're not actually getting anything done in the house of information so let's just leave that there and then in our fourth house our our house of, of roots goals visions independence his roots okay he gets the four of pentacles okay so he understands that we do need to look see at the financial aspects that right now you know giving people six hundred dollars a month and of course you know he he's not really yeah, although he's privy to it because he's a citizen of the United States, he's not involved in the negotiations, he's not involved in the in the voting and the settling of the details. And he has no say in it. But but this is very much saying in the house of home and roots and or, you know, the the things that truly matter, home and family, that, you know, he understands that we are um, needing our financial uh, ash, uh, our, our financial issues looked at because we, well quite frankly, it's it's no longer survivable. If you can't work a minimum wage job and pay your rent, minimum wage just quite frankly isn't enough money. Okay. And then in the fifth house of drama, uh, advers uh, the adversaries, okay, um, he gets, um, that's your house of Leo, ruled by the sun, he gets the ten of pentacles. That, you know, they're sabotaging them. Straight up, everything that this administration currently can do to keep the Biden administration from taking charge of the situation is what they're up to and and basically it's it is a, a, a drama I mean I I wonder if in some ways if this wasn't just done to us to be a drama very much like Truman I don't know but it seems really crazy to me that, that Burnett is his bestie and Burnett pushed him on The Apprentice and Burnett is still pushing him now and it does feel like a television production at our expense, okay? And then um, the, uh, the sixth house of, house of career, um, he, has, uh, he has got his uh, part of fortune in Aries. Really, um, Aries is going to be what the part of fortune, kind of uh, you know what 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 is his luck? Well, I'd say you know the guy came in and he's president of the United States. He's been vice president. Um, his his part of fortune is in Aries. His moon is in Aries. So he's kind of petulant. He's kind of you know he's going to be kind of short and and in some ways not really willing to take a lot of foolishness off people and and he gets this he gets the strength card and I think that that's appropriate at this time that he's going to come in in this transition and he is going to have some strength and he is going to find his way forward and I think that that pretty much is true my husband says it's true I believe it because he's been here done this before and we're kind of very fortunate that we have someone who has experience under the circumstances because I don't think it would have mattered who was elected side by side with Trump. I believe we would have had this problem no matter what because Trump came into office, he did things probably he shouldn't have done and he has to face that and this is for entertainment purposes only. The things I say are for entertainment only. Okay. So, and the House of uh, Partnerships He's got um, uh, not interested in the past, um, and his ideas may lack support. So that is a troubling one, I have to admit. Um, I don't really think that if you had a failed administration, and I think that the previous administration was a failed administration, that you can afford to come in and say that we'll keep things the way they are. We can't afford that anymore. These people have stolen from us. They have acted in a way that does not represent government in how government functions. And he gets Saturn in Taurus ruled by Venus partnerships. And he has Uranus in Taurus. So his limitations, how he sees, 
he is looking at his toys and he is saying who can play with them and who cannot. Okay? It's in that age group. And he's also looking at things and he's going, um, yeah, I don't want any sudden and unexpected surprises. And probably he won't see a lot because, well, it's kind of canceled out. Uranus is canceled out in a lot of ways by Saturn. And, um, and it's in Venus, and he gets the page of wands. Something new is going to develop in the house of partnerships, and it needs to because, well, quite frankly, um, I think that the partnership that we've had with Donald Trump, the GOP, Mitch McConnell, has proven to be not in our best interest. They have not worked for us. They have worked for some agenda that has nothing to do with us. So, you know, there's that. In the house of death, birth, taxes, um, uh, we get the, the Knight of Cups. Something in this sense is, it, and, you know, we're all going through this dark night of the soul, this process of COVID, you know, and what do we have? We have a Knight of Cups. Something more gentle, more loving is moving in as we transition into this next administration, the 46th presidency. And what we have is expansion in cancer. Something is coming and it is going to expand. And I think that what that is is probably the um, uh, the uh, vaccination for COVID. And then conjunct in the ninth house, you have Pluto in cancer. Um, the scary things that are happening to us. These, this nightmare of a situation we find ourselves in. So something love more loving, this Knight of Cups is moving in. Okay, in our ninth house, as I said, we have that conjunction, but we also have Chiron. Um, in the house of Thorn, the house, it, it's, it's basically... Um, He's a change agent, okay? He's a truth seeker, and he gets the Ace of Wands. Yes, he's going to bring in something new to the office of the president. So, you know, this is good because, really, quite frankly, we need to do something different. Um, I, I've never been so troubled in my whole life for the number of people who have been treated in a despairing way. And the people who he holds up, number 45, holds up and says, no, these are the people of honor. And the people who are good, he, he says, these are the people that we need to destroy. I'm having a lot of problems with the map on that. I just am. As a human, I don't care for it at all. In the 10th house of uh, government, the I am, the, 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 uh, his north know, what he came here to be, he has... North Node in Leo, the, the great I am here to be the president. He's cold and he's organized. And he gets the Eight of Cups. He's going to be looking over the details of our relationships and determining what can stay and what must go. And that which no longer serves is going to go. Now, does that mean that we're going to have a different kind of government? I think it's probably almost necessary that we do. Um, I don't think we can continue this corporate government we have. I think it's financially not. We're at the, at the lower end of life. Those of us who are, are paying our way, we can't afford any more trouble. We just cannot. Okay, middle class can't take any more hits, and so I don't know where the wealthy go. Okay, because we don't. There's no more. There's no more nickels and dimes on our end either. You, I know that the low, lowest form of uh, the lowest income bracket. There's nothing there. They're homeless. Okay, it, it, there's they're they're pricing us right out of our lives. Okay, um, uh, in the eleventh house, he's got. Uh, Neptune in Virgo, okay, and Virgo is all the details, he gets the details, he's a big dreamer, he wants unity, he gets the psychology of it in the house of groups, and he gets the king of wands, that yes, he, he is coming to do something different, because wands are always going to be about growth and action. So he's looking to come in, and he's looking to fill in the tree and have it make more sense than it currently does. And that's a good thing. Let's hope he can do it. I think that he's going to be obstructed by the current government of any that is there in that sense. And in the 12th house of, of um, the unseen, um, 
he, he, he's motivated. Um, sacrifice is what he's motivated by, okay? He has um, Mercury in, uh, Mercury in uh, Li Libra. Then he has a Sun in uh, Scorpio, so he's saying, I am truthful, I am strong, and I will tell you how it is. I am thoughtful, I am fair and balanced. That is in his, his uh, 12th house of the unseen and he gets the the nine of swords um yes that that he's in this highly intellectual process as this transition is taking place and you know we're not uh, he has come out a couple of times recently and said look they're not letting me transition and, and I, I think we all know that that's true but what's coming is rapid transformation that's about to change um i know that on the sixth the uh the the Senate reads the formal votes that have already been certified, mind you, via each and every state and every state governor. So the decision has already been made. And now, as of the 6th, we will have rapid transformation. And that rapid transformation will lead to a, uh, a different relationship. A new relationship will begin forming out of this out of this situation and, and I mean really that's what we need we need a different relationship and money will be brought up we need a different way forward and some limitations will be put into the office of presidency the way this was handled it's over it's done it cannot be undone and with that I thank you I'm going to turn my laptop this way I thank you for joining me here today. Uh, please do join myself and Pearl Roland, my lovely co-reader, over on www.twiggytwiggie.com. And please do hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And for those of you who have let me know that my quality has been funny, I have a new mic coming um, tomorrow. I can't wait and it's actually one that can come up to my face which will help because I do have a quiet voice so it is difficult for me to after 60 years learn to speak louder so I'm hoping this new mic will make a huge difference for me and with that thank you so much for joining me today